So when glazing, one of the first things you need to do is to wash your pot. So I'm gonna take it over to the sink and wash all of the grit and dust off of it because it has happened to have some in that, in the kiln firing and just sitting out. So make sure you first wash your pot. my piece is drying, I'm gonna set up my area. I'm going to first put down a piece of paper, scrap piece of paper in order that it doesn't get my table dirty. I'm going to have my glaze ready, and that's in your plastic bag, um, and my brushes. I would also suggest having a cup of water beside of you, along with some paper towels, so that you can actually have your area perfect. Um, my mug is almost dry, and I'm also, going to grab a container. It doesn't have to be anything special. I'm just grabbing one of these. I'm gonna put it underneath. This allows me to have it on a pedestal, to rotate it without touching it, because you don't really wanna to be touching your glaze part of the pot. When it's all said and done, it's gonna have a very chalky appearance. Remember, glaze is crushed up glass. To begin with, I am going to glaze inside my mug. How I'm gonna do that? I'm going to take my glaze and literally pour some of it in. I don't need to pour all of it in. And I'm going to rotate it around and coat all my sides. This is a great dipping method. Um, it really does put a very good coat on it completely. As I start getting towards the edge, I'm going to open up my bag or a container. You can put this in a container. You don't need to keep it in a bag anymore. And start to get it towards the bottom. As I pour it out, all of it that's going on the lip right now is giving my lip a really good coat of this. So right now I've got a great coat inside there and on the outside. I'm gonna pour some back in and get it coated around. Now I'm going to use some of my mixable glaze. You all got to choose a mixable glaze color and I ended up choosing black. So I'm going to do my eyes black. With a small paintbrush, I'm going to start to paint it in. Now you need several coats in order for this to look strong and not to crawl in any areas. Crawling means that it would have areas where the glaze doesn't quite get and you see just the white showing through. If you make a mistake, you can always take a clean, wet paintbrush and clean it off. To do the second coat, I would wait, you know, two minutes and paint somewhere else in order for that to go. Now you can see I made a little bit of a mistake. I'm gonna take a clean paintbrush and just clean that off. As you remember, you had a lot of choices of colors. Here's an example, but you have to do it nice and thick in order to get it on like this. So some of the colors that you could have chosen. I've already done three coats of glaze. One of the places I definitely checked was around the rim. I wanted to make sure that was nice and thick and you can see how chalky my piece looks. It's dried for the most part. I'm going to be flipping it over and paying attention to making sure all my glaze is off the bottom. What happens if I have glaze on the bottom and it goes in the kiln? It will stick to the kiln shelf. And then I have to hammer it off in order to get it off. And it's a big mess, your piece is ruined. So you have to make sure all glaze is off your base so it doesn't get stuck 
in the kiln. Because remember, this is melting glass once it gets fired up to temperatures of 116 degrees to 1800 uh, degrees. Now it's ready to be dropped off at school. Make sure you don't touch this very often. You wanna keep that nice coat.